Hey guys, welcome to LA Love Creative, and today we're talking about how to create amazing product photography in your home. If you haven't, make sure you hit the bell so you can stay notified when we post new videos. Cue the intro. Now, I know like a lot of you, you are stuck in the house. You're isolated. We and you've already watched every TV show and you've already ate every type of meal that you can create on your limited cooking skills. And now you're like, what what do I do with my life? Well, one of the cool things that you can actually do while you're in isolation right now is work on your photography skills and try to grow as a creative. Tip number one, I would say is make sure you have the right equipment. I always stress this in my, our videos. Make sure you have the right equipment. Now, the right equipment is kind of subjective. What I mean by that is quality light. You're gonna want to have um, some type of augmented light. I stressed on, on my channel in my last video that a good pair of mono lights or strobes or any type of stuff like that would work really well. But what I've been doing lately is I've actually been mixing strobes and continuous light and I'm really, really liking the effect on that. One of my favorite lights that I like to use for something like this is the, I have to look at it because it's actually filming this right now, is the Falcon Eyes RX24 TDX. I really like this light. It's like a light matte, high output, it's bi-color, and it's just a great light to use as a fill or even a key light on products. Another tip when you are shooting products is you might wanna get a tripod that can go vertical and can also shoot overhead and can also shoot horizontal. Just a tripod that has a fluid head where you can actually shoot more portrait style and also shoot horizontal, which will give you a little bit more flexibility and also give you a little bit more options when you're shooting a product. Another thing is you're gonna want to shoot on a tripod with a wireless trigger if you can. Some cameras actually have, have it where your phone can be a wireless trigger, or you can also just set a timer on your camera. When you're shooting with a product, it might be reflective, you might be limited in the amount of equipment that you have. So having a camera on the tripod will allow the product not to move and the camera not to move, and it will allow you to do really cool things in posts, like maybe add splashes to the product, like pour water on the product, or you'll be able to move the light around just to illuminate different parts of the product. Maybe it's really reflective and you want to show, to show that or you want to show different colors. Just make sure you're shooting with a wireless trigger on a tripod and keeping the product really still and keeping the camera really still and you'll have a lot more options in post. Another tip that I cannot stress enough is less is more. And what I mean by that is accessories, props, stuff like that. You don't wanna to go too crazy with you know cluttering the image. I think what's really great right now is a lot of photography that's more minimalistic is really popular. So less is more when it comes to products or you know props or anything you're adding into your actual photography. One of the cool things that I did on one of my shoots was I actually got this really, really cool fabric. It was really cheap. I really love that this fabric gave it a lot of texture, but it also gave it a really, really cool, uh, almost air of luxury. I felt real luxurious shooting this stuff. I didn't even say that word right. But when using props, less is more. Maybe try to find a couple pieces that you can work from, and then you can build a story visually with that, and that's a really good move. Another cool thing that you can do when you're shooting products and if you keep the camera and keep the product still is splash photography. Take some water, throw it onto the product and just fire away and then whatever you get, just composite that in post. One tip I would say is if you're shooting water, you're gonna wanna make sure your shutter speed is around 200 or even higher because you're gonna wanna be able to freeze the motion of the water. 
Another cool thing you can do is get into ink photography, which is maybe something I'll break down in this channel later on. Um, basically, it's just a fish tank full of water and you just put paint or ink in it and you take a lot of frames and then stitch that together with your product. There's a lot of possibilities. So that's all I have to say about product photography in your home. If you have any questions about videography or photography, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. See you later.